Welcome to another segment with Dave and myself. And today I'm going to show you guys, those of you with rheumatoid arthritis and having to take cortisol shots and, and so forth and so on, I'm going to show you how to make something so simple and so easy and so inexpensive. You're going to need chlorophyll. Now, I use this one because I'll tell you what's in this one. I can't read this thing. I can't see nothing this morning. Okay. It's got water, sodium chloride, glycerin, chlorophyll, and copper complex from alfalfa leaves and, and uh, alfalfa leaves. Clean. Things you, you're going to get. Now, I'm not sure what the glycerol source is, but it seems to work. Now, you're going to use some chlorophyll. Now, I'm going to eyeball this. Use about an ounce of chlorophyll. Give or take. You're going to use aspirin. I'll show you how much you're going to use with the aspirin. And again, make sure it's clean. You've been blasting away on these YouTubes, so make sure that you're not getting polymers in your system. Now, again, that much aspirin. Two in there. Oh, now we're going to add the magical ingredient, vitamin C. This makes this stuff work really well. Now, you can also add, if you want, lysine. Lysine with the aspirin as well. You can go either way, you can add it together. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in there. Okay, that's a one gram. Lysine, I use this company here. I like Solar Aid. There's some things about the company I don't care for, but in the aminos, I do like. Okay, throw it in there and. Now you can also use um, Carlson's lysine powder. I think they're pretty good too. Or any place you can get lysine in a powder form. Just make sure there's no other crap in it. And I got my pestle, believe it or not, at an, uh, an East Indian market. It's white brass. And I was talking to an Asian herbalist, and they said never use the marble because when you use marble, fragments of the marble. Okay, throw it in there. And this thing will make a nice singing bowl too, but you gotta use a piece of wood. <laughs> it won't do it that way. But anyway. <laughs> what were you saying about the marble though? Uh, marble, when you're, when you're pestling with marble, some of the rocks and material will get in the, in the material. So, okay, mix it up a little bit. Add a little water. Now, the one theory about a lot of rheumatoid pain is because the collagen is shrinking down in the system. As a result of the shrinkage in the system, it's producing inflammation. Now that's one element, a aspect of it. Now what this does is copper produces something called elastin, which keeps the collagen flexible and pliable. Lysine and vitamin C also are the key components plus proline, which you can get from gelatin. Uh, key components, and again, restoring not only muscle collagen, but skeletal uh, bone uh, growth as well. So when you put this together, you're putting about two to three ounces of water, maybe four, stir it up, get it to dissolve, and then break it. Now, is it safe? Ooh, is this safe? Tastes like shit, but it's good for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, this formula I just gave you as well kills cancerous tumors throughout the body. It's a very effective way of reducing tumor growth throughout the system. Cheap, inexpensive, and highly effective. This stuff, again, will produce something in your body called SOD. Now, SOD is called superoxide dismutase. This is an antioxidant that supports your glutathione levels. Mm. Where do you have the highest form of glutathione? In the lungs. Where do you have the highest form of uh, SOD or superoxide dismutase? In the lungs and in the eyes. You have two types of SOD. Uh, one is a zinc copper combination and one is a zinc manganese combination. When you produce this together, it has the same similar effect as the zinc, copper, zinc, magnesium. Okay, um, when you look at this, the composition of the invention has been found effective in the treatment of carcinomas of the breast, 
rectum, bladder, liver, peritoneum, stomach, and urethra, and some lymphomas. Okay? Um, let me read here. Okay, it's a treatment of neoplastic diseases, abnormal, uh, abnormal growth of cells which lead to neoplasm or tumor. The addition of vitamin C to the components A and B leads to the synergistic effect of increased effectiveness. There you go. Something simple, something easy, something inexpensive. Slap it together. And again, if you have chronic pain, do this every two to three hours until the pain subsides. Afterwards, do it every four hours. Okay. Uh, chlorophyll also has magnesium in it, which will buffer the aspirin. If your stomach does get upset because of the ascorbic acid in there with it, afterwards chase it either with a magnesium supplement, a liquid magnesium, or use yogurt, cottage cheese, uh, kefir, which will act as a base. Okay. This needs to get in, has to be on the acidic side at some level to work, and you will find relief almost take effect within two minutes. Two minutes. I've got the old formula here with this trisodium phosphate that we made in the past. I've shown you how to make it. You can even add the aspirin to this to make it more effective. So you can, and this one here has helped people with rheumatoid arthritis. I had a woman using cortisol shots, was on this for two months, she's off the shots. So again, here you have it. An antioxidant, a cancer fighter, an anti-tumor, a collagen restorer, a skeletal muscle builder. Lysine regulates the calcium for muscle for bone growth. Okay, so those of you who are having osteoporosis issue, use more salt, more sodium, and increase your so uh, lysine as well. There you have it. Something simple, something easy. To the next segment, to your health.